Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? We are back with some more Blade and so and this time we are in the new dungeon. It is awesome and I love the clean music. I will let you guys listen to that in the dungeon while we do some kill some killing. Now, when you enter the dungeon, um you're gonna want to talk to some of the frogs on the side, which I did not show which I did not show, but there's some frogs you need to walk, uh, to to need to uh, talk on the side so that you can uh, get the quest because I'm dumb and in this showing of the video I did not talk to them. Of course I didn't. <laughs> but anyways, this dungeon is not that bad. It's pretty easy. Now, to do this dungeon, you need to have a little bit of AP, okay? A little bit of AP. Around 850 to uh, 750. Like it, it should not be that hard to do and um it's really, it's a, it's a really easy dungeon. It's not too hard. Now, you want to start off killing these frogs. Now, these frogs will give you this effect called tipsy. Now, tipsy is, um, is when you get drunk. Is when you're, 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 you're drinking too much, and you got way too much, too, too much alcohol in you than you need to. But you get stacks of tipsy, and it's, it's, it's a pretty funny dungeon. Um, you know, but, but that's what event dungeons are for, right? They're hilarious. They're fun to do, and they should not take five to ten minutes. It should only take you for like two some minutes. But each time you kill a group of um of frogs, you get um what's it called? You get these effect called tipsy. And I'm just watching Zulia dance. Let me know. <laughs> Freaking, she's here dancing like a party nerd. What? What? Way too early in the morning to narrate videos. Anyways, so after you kill uh, the three groups of, uh, of froggies, you will um, it will spawn the big froggy. Now this guy spawned over there, which I had no clue because I was looking at my character with all these tipsy effect. <laughs> but anyways, um, it should not be that hard. This guy dies pretty quick if you have the tipsy effect on you. And look at that, I'm hitting over a hundred k on my dragon tongue, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, look at that, over a hundred k dragon tongue. Yeah, but. Should not be that hard for you guys to uh, to do this. It's relatively easy, actually, um, and most of the time you should be hitting quite hard with the tipsy effect. Now, the reason why I want to, reason why the tipsy effect is really pow it's powerful is because you get a lot of AP from it. You get a lot of additional damage on it. So make sure you guys grab that and don't get hit by the tornadoes. If this boss drags on for too long, he will spawn these tornadoes, and you will lose the tipsy effect and that will make you hit not very hard so um, right now I'm just tanking the boss and he's dying relatively fast because we have some quite good people now if you have gear then you should just DPS right through and he should not spawn any tornadoes and he'll die very very quickly but if you don't that's a whole that's a whole different problem <laughs> it's a whole different problem alright whole different problem see, see those tornadoes those tornadoes will take away your tipsy effect so you want to avoid those at all costs because you will lose a lot of damage okay so burn through him fast so that um burn through him fast so that you don't um you know lose to him because you can literally lose to him if you if you lose tipsy effect all right so that's all you gotta do just dps hard and uh, you should be fine shouldn't be too hard but yeah that'll be mostly about it about, about this event and i want you guys to listen to the clean music um while we wait here for a little bit. And yeah, well, that's basically it for the event dungeon. It's not too hard. It's actually pretty easy. Um, the dynamic quest you will get from this du this dungeon is um for fortune potions. Hold on. Ah, uh, something was itching my nose. <laughs> uh, but um the the dynamic quest gives you fortune potions for um what's it called? The dynamic quest gives you fortune potions for the um for for completing the dy dynamic quest. And you can do this dungeon as many times as you want, which is not too bad. It's pretty easy. And I highly recommend you do it if you don't have enough fortune potions. Alright guys, so with that being said, that'll be it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this event. I really I, I really enjoy it because it, the music is just so good. And I'll, have, I'll, I'll keep playing it in the background while I still talk even though it's not going to be that loud. So, 
for doing that dungeon and getting these items called raspberry, uh, black raspberry cocktails. What do you get from these, uh, from these items that you can exchange? Now, they say that can be exchanged for items or consume to boost stats. Now, what is this boost stat? Well, it's 100 AP for 30 minutes, which is not too bad. All right, it's not too bad, but I don't think you should. I don't think you should use them for that purpose. However, um, everything else should be fine. Um, you can. I'm pretty sure you, you're gonna have some leftover at the end of the day. But um, yeah, let's get right into it. So, if you go to your Dragon Express and hit on the event items, you can get yourself outfit items, which is this bland black color for the Yun. Here, I'll put on the whole thing, right? And then you get this weird jacket on the back. Ugh, I don't like that jacket. So what does this one look like? Is this for... Okay, so this is for the Jin right here. It's for the Jin. Yellow. It's pretty... It's actually not that bad. It's not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But, um... Let's see. The Gon gets this. Oh, man. I, I want... I want that them flower necklace right there. It's not too bad. They get a hat? They get... I want a hat, okay? I want this hat. Hello? Oh man, that hairstyle. I really like that hairstyle too. Um, you guys can look at the lens, and that's the outfit. To me, I don't really like it because I, I play as a young, and this is just absolutely disgusting. I don't like this outfit at all. Like, at all. I hate it. But, I, of course, I'm not gonna go for it because, again, I'm not gonna, I don't care about outfits. But, this event, you can get yourself. Paradox. Now, I know the Paradox is not that great of a gem, unless you stack Block and Evade. Evade and Block is very, very powerful if you have this Paradox. Now, I do not have my gems right now because my gems are on a different character. And um, right now, <clears throat> right now my gems are, I think it's on my BD. So I can't really show you what I have, but I'm pretty sure if you watch my other videos, you know what kind of gems I have. But, um this event okay this event you can get yourself the uh the hong moon hexagonal paradox which is combining three of these pentagonals which are in the event okay so if you ha get three of these you can make yourself a stage three paradox which is relatively nice but i already have one of these so guess what i'm going for i am gonna go for the hong moon heptagonal paradox Yes, we're going to be merging six of these things, okay? Well, I'm going to need six of these things, okay? So, we're going to be making the Hong Moon Hexagonal Paradox, which of course I'll show in a video. But, this Paradox is going to be insane with how much block and how much evade I have, which is very, very nice. So, that's what I'm going to be going for. 20 AP, 830 HP recovery, um, recovery instantly. Over time, another 900 recovery bonus when blocking or dodging which is awesome but I don't care about how much um, how much radiant energy or crystals are because I want, I want the gem I don't, I don't care but that's what I am gonna do now how many raspberry cocktails can you get per day well one of my buddies has already done all the calculations for me because I don't want to do it <laughs> all right so now um Every single day, you get to do a dungeon. Now, of course, the dungeon is called Fortune Fall. And uh, let me see if I can find it. Fortune Fall is down here. Fortune Fall right there. Every single day, you want to do Fortune Fall at least once. Because Fortune Fall gives you eight, okay? It gives you eight. Now, if you do it once um, every day, you'll get eight. The daily challenge gives you another five. So eight and five is 14. Four, no, 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 8 and 5 is 13. I lied. Okay, so 8 and 5 is 13 together. And then if you buy one from the Hong Moon, okay, on the Hong Moon store, Hong Moon store, you will get one for free every single day. Of course, I already purchased mine. So that will be 14, okay? That's 14 per day if you do daily challenge, if you do, um, yeah, daily challenge and the dungeon quest. Now, on Wednesday, specifically Wednesday, because it's DKV, right? DKV will give you another 14. Okay, so let's add 14 to our. Okay, hold on. Let me let me add the one real quick. Add plus one. That's 14. 
if you do DKV, you get another 14. Okay, so that brings your total up to 28. And, and we're only talking specifically on um, on Wednesday. Okay, on, on, on Wednesday right here. Okay, so 28. And then if you reset DKV, okay, if you reset, you want to reset on this event because then you get another 14. Okay, so now you're up to 42. Now, once you're at 42, you want to you want to do the weekly challenge because the weekly challenge gives you another 14, which is awesome. So we're gonna add that in. So then we're gonna add 14. That brings us up to a total of 56 um, raspberry cocktails, which is not too bad. 56 on a Wednesday. Now keep in mind we only have a few Wednesdays, um, but <clears throat> but now we're gonna do, do the actual calculations. So. We're gonna have, how, how many Wednesdays are we gonna have here? Because we had one yesterday, so 26. We'll have another one on the 2nd. We'll have another one on the 9th. We will not have one on the 16th, so do not count that one, okay? So we technically only get two weeks of DKV. Of DKV, yeah. No, three weeks because it counts today. So, um, yesterday you were able to get 56, okay? And uh, this event will last for how many days here? How many days here? This event will last for one. Will last for about 20, 21 days to 20 days. So it's about two weeks away. So we're gonna be doing this event, and you'll approximately get 370. Now keep in mind, I say approximate because there is an exact number, and this is just on top of my head. It's about approximately 370. Now, if you want to get, if you want to get the um, the the item, you have to go to your Dragon Express, and you can get all this stuff here and this is what you can get now it's 130 of these things 130 to get one of these raspberries if you if you're able to get 370 which is again approximate okay 370 um, of these raspberries then uh, you can divide that by three uh, divide that by 130 that's only about that's get that will guarantee you two of them that will guarantee you two paradise but I need six so guess what I have to do I have to do it on another alt so guess what? <laughs> we're gonna take 370 times two. Okay, we're gonna times two divided by 130. That is five guaranteed pentagonal paradox. That's five of them. Okay, that'll guarantee me five of them. But here's the thing: I can only get another two, so I have to do it on another alt. So guess what? I have to do it on another alt. So that's so that's two of my alts and my main. If I want to get six pentagonal paradox that's if I want to get six pentagonal paradox hello <laughs> oh man this event I'm telling you this event right here now keep in mind the, the cocktails you can't transfer them okay you can't transfer them I'm taking it this as in the total so let's take 370 okay let's take uh, 370 minus 130 I'll be I'll have another did I do that right? 3, 370 minus 130 is 240. So I'll minus it one more time. Okay. So you can buy two paradox and you'll have exactly somewhere around 110 to 100 some. Right. 110 to 100 some left. So that means I'll have a hundred. I'll still have over a hundred of these to burn and eat. And then I'll go to my all. I'll do it again and get two more. Right. I, I'll get two more and I have to go to my all. Do it again. So technically, you only have to earn 260 of these things. You technically only have to earn 260 of these things. You do not have to do all of them, okay? You do not have to do all of them. You probably can get away with um, doing your dailies, and then you can do uh, get away with doing your dailies, doing your weekly challenge, and then doing DKV, and you probably can get away without resetting. So. Say that, say that I don't reset, right? Say that I don't reset, and you probably will get it because you technically only need 260 um, if you do the reset on DKV. But I'm pretty sure you only need 260 to get two of them, and so it shouldn't be that hard if you do this on the alt. And if you get three, if you get six of them, like I am, right, to make to make a, a heptagonal, then it's not actually too bad in my opinion. But that's basically it for this dungeon. Uh, not dungeon. That's basically it for this event. Of course, you can get sacred oils, but to me, you can buy sacred oils anytime you want, right? You can buy them at any time you want. 
and um, it's 120 so you can get again six of these things uh, during this event and I want to go to stage 10 on my soul but I think having a higher stage paradox is a little better in my opinion but that's basically it for this event guys that's these are the rewards you can get I'm not gonna be really going over them too much but basically that's it for this event guys I want to thank you guys for watching with that being said I'll see you guys next time on Blade and Soul see you guys then